What up y'all and welcome back to another one. Uh, a much different video coming for y'all today. Something that I've wanted to try for a lot of years. Paddle fishing, snagging paddle fish. It is season and uh, there's a lot of talk about banded paddle fish. What in the world? I guess uh, wherever we're at, I have no idea where I'm at right now. I am uh, actually somewhere in Oklahoma. That's all about all I know. And this spot is supposed to have some big, some banded paddlefish. So, why, why, why do they ban paddlefish? Research. Research? Mm -hmm. Is there like a tracker on them? Uh, I don't a, know. It's just a report deal, just like a goose. I think so. A, uh, I so it's know. probably just like the same thing. Call it in, report it type of deal. If you guys know anything about it, if you guys have ever snagged a banded paddlefish, you know what you got to do. Drop a comment down below. But we got the bearded man with us. What's up? And we got Gerald. Gerald actually brought us. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. You're welcome, kids. <laughs> Gerald does this every single year. And uh, he said, within 30 minutes, Bob, you're going to catch as many fish as you want. Why are you? Oh, taping. Oh, what happened to your custom zippers you had put in? Oh, well, I break everything I touch. You do. You're hard on stuff. So, electric tape. Electric tape. Works great. Besides maybe getting a banded, I mean, paddlefish or just a giant one, we're supposed to be catching a lot of them today. That's, uh, that's been the word, is that this spot, awesome. Here's a little cleaning station, people gone fishing. There you go. Boy, howdy. This is a lot different than Kansas. Uh, he said that they shoot a ton of wood ducks down here on this creek, and that's what it looks like. It just looks like a wood ducky little creek river. This is a river, but muddy, muddy, muddy water snagging paddlefish it's gonna be a first for me i've always wanted to try it well here we go we got the old skeeter boy howdy yep we're not goose hunting anymore boys <laughs> but no i'm not out here doing this on my own today i'd be crazy if i thought i was going to come out here and actually catch something by myself because i have no idea what i'm doing uh but thanks to this guy I have a uh, chance and you know what to catch something. All right, guys, well, I'm Brian Baker. I have a little company called Spoonbill Wreckers and actually Crane Wreckers. So uh, today what we're gonna be doing in Northeast Oklahoma, we're gonna be putting a smack down. Actually, we're gonna wreck the paddlefish. So we came out here last night, uh, found about uh, oh, dozens of big schools, nice big fish, fantastic. So uh, guys, you stay tuned here in a little bit and we're gonna show you some big paddlefish and lots of them. If you guys want to go spoonbill fishing, snagging, however you guys say it, I will link spoonbill records down in the description below. Go give them, go get a hold of the man. You're about to see what he does. Boy, howdy, we are in some backwoods. Where did you, where did you bring me to, man? <laughs> well, we're on the Verdigris River. Uh oh, someone talking. Who's oh, that? That's my son. He's going to come out here and help with us. Oh, he's got a boat he's, too, huh? Oh, yeah. He's a, he's a other owner of Spoonbill Wreckers and Crane Wreckers as well. Oh, gotcha, so. gotcha. Bro, you're always barefoot. Just letting the flow go, boys. We got an eagle following us. Wiping the tears from my face because that was awesome. Letting the flow go. You were letting the beard just get it in the wind, dude. It was ripping. It felt nice. Old Gerald, look at him. Oh, <laughs> nice. Boy, howdy. You got a lot of rain down here, did you? Yeah, it seems to not stop, you know. Yeah. Every, every other day we get an inch, so. Really? Yeah, we're about seven inches above normal for this year and Man, we generally have 40 inches a year around uh, of rainfall, and now we're almost 70 inches. Gee, many. You can tell the uh, current, it is just ripping. The, the river is really up. Uh, he said that we're going to start out. There's two ways to do this. He said uh, either trolling or casting. Sounds like we're going to be casting uh, for the simple fact that the current's so great, they're hiding behind structure. So gonna have to cast and drag through the structure or behind it pretty yep, much right behind the structure yeah I'm seeing quite a few fish but uh, there's a lot of brush I'm trying to find a large school of fish that there's some opening in between them where we're not trying to fish right in the brush box we'll get hung up gotcha. we're throwing a 10-aught 
treble hook that's barbless oh. with a six ounce weight and it will get hung up in the brush. It's just looking for a place to get hung up. Right. Down imaging, huh? Uh, actually, this is live scope. Oh, gotcha. Yep, live scope. It's uh, looking out in front of the boat. This here is looking into the future. <laughs> you it should is. be able to see this brush ball here for long, right? Yep, I can see it right there. There's a few fish on, smaller fish on the, this side of it. Yep, yes, that's the very best place to stand up there. And then whenever you jerk, just Ooh, he done hooked up. Real, real, real. Yeah, real, real. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, keep catching. Oh, girl. With there the we go. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I love this man. You know what? I've known him for a long time. He's a good guy. <laughs> good game. Good job, buddy. Oh, yep, just flip her easy. Yes. Oh, you just flip. Just yep, flip. Yep. Either I'm already tired or I'll fall out of the boat by now. You stop the school? We'll tie you in. <laughs> yep. yep. There you go. Now, long strokes. You're good to go. Yep. You'll feel it hit the bottom and then tighten that it up. That fish, you're probably not. We're, we're probably going to have to chase it. That's a big fish. You see what staying I mean? down. Oh, real, 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 real. Oh, 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 There's oh, a oh. double. <laughs> oh God, oh, dude, those are just feels like a concrete anchor, dude. Woo! Yeah, I think you are. Psych. Psych. So <laughs> it is an anchor. Cut the film. <laughs> oh, my, you just drag him up. Wow. You have to in that current. Holy smokes, that's a big one. That's a big fish, you're right. A big fish. <laughs> you're gonna whip me, boys. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Well, I've never seen a fish. Like Woo! Oh, nice wow. job. <laughs> Good wow. job, my man. Thank you. Congratulations! That's oh, a is, is that a dino? Is that a swimming dinosaur? Yeah, I mean, what? Dinosaurs. Wow! I mean, dude, that is wild. Wow! Hold on, let me get some videos on the phone too. Holy Whoa. smoke! <laughs> <laughs> Easy, it's gonna slap you where the sun don't shine. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. Holy smokes! Dude, that's a brute. That's a good one. Wow. Nice. Well, all right, Gerald. If I were you, I would. Uh, I wouldn't stop after two minutes of fishing. So let's, literally let's, two let's, minutes. Let's release this fish and get after some more. What do you say? Yep. Oh, good job, my man. Thank you. Good job. Right now, what's there. one like that way? What do you? Uh, what's that uh, one? Way, that was probably about a fifty-pound fish. Fifty? Yeah, maybe fifty-five. It was a big old female and. They generally weigh a little bit more. Wow. But yeah, it's a good fish. Now, Lu uh, lucky me, I got snagged up. Yeah. <laughs> get a we got plenty of time. You'll yeah, we riddle. just got here, guys. It's not like that we've been fishing all day or Crazy. even for 10 minutes. We would, he, That was two minutes. That was probably two minutes. That so. was first cast. Fast, first cast, yeah. yeah. Second, well, cast. second cast. You, uh, hey, thanks for rigging me up for the second time here. Second time I broke her off, snagged her up. Trying to get the rhythm and the rhyme going, you know. There's a definite rhythm to letting your line sink all the way down, putting tension, and then a sweeping motion. Nice and easy, sweeping motion. Well, before I break off another hook, better take me a, take me a break from all the destruction I've created so far. I put, uh, I put Gerald back on the sticks here. Show him how to do it. I know, you're probably gonna catch one again second cast. Three cast. Oh, getting babe calling it old bathe roof having. What are you doing back there, man? You ready? I'm just amazed. This thing's awesome. Oh, the technology it's involved. Crazy. I know, dude. You can see everything. Pretty sure you can see into the future. You can probably see Seeing all future. three hooks I lost down well, there's there too. There's a spoonbill coming up right there. I don't know, but I think you're right. Bunch of turkey in here, I bet. I heard one yet though. I know. Where's all my, uh, yeah, it looks like turkey country big time. Where's all my Oklahoma turkey hunters? Hey, if you go right, 
man, go right in the middle. There. This is yeah, Brian's the son. They got a couple They're boats. Watch, I'm just snaggling right now. Boo! <laughs> they're, they're there. They're right here. Look on that side right there, too. Oh, there was a gar right there in front of us. Yeah, a lot of gar. gar. Uh-oh. Literally 30 seconds after I said if he hooks one, he just did. Oh, it's a damn gar. <laughs> it's a damn gar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. What do you got there? I've got... Either a log or a big fish. Ooh. Big Good. <laughs> Gee, Fine, we're going. Oh, you dirty sack of. No! I don't know. I think you had a log. No, it was a giant fish. <laughs> <laughs> Well, switched it up. We switched rivers, went and had lunch. Uh, now check it out. We are trolling. Got two poles out. He's gonna sit a third one. But trolling, whole different river. A lot more fish on this river. Well, we're trolling now. Getting closer to the bank. He said when you start seeing one, just rip and drag. Yank it up and hold on. I guess one thing, you gotta keep tension on these fish at all times or you're gonna lose them. Gotcha. He should be floating right to her, yeah. Oh yeah. It's a little guy. Bobby with the dinkers. <laughs> there you go. Little dinky. Yeah, that's not right. bad. That's a good, uh, that's a quality fish. It's probably a three year old fish. We got a great, healthy, sustainable population here oh on Grand Lake in Northeast Oklahoma. Yeah, cool. Push him away from the boat. It'll be good. Man, that's some cold. Woo! That's Gosh. some cold water. Right. Woo! <laughs> We're on the board, baby. Yeah. Two, two fish. Uh, not the biggest. Call me Dink City. I don't care. We got one. Come on, big Papa Pump, you old bearded dude, you. Huh? It was one of your snags. I just happened to get it for you. Oh, I thought you had a fish on. I did too. What happened? You know, what are you doing? I can't win them all. <laughs> Keep them tight. So, Keep them tight. That'll be a lot bigger fish than normal. Oh, you think that's a big one though? Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because, I'm recording, right? Yep. Good. Because he was swimming in with us. Mm. That's how I can tell. Some big fish. Oh yeah. Come here, you dinosaur. Right in the tail. Right in the tail. Right in the tail, huh? Bandit. Oh, banded? Got a band. No way. Yeah. No way. No way. A banded fish. Are you serious? No. The worst part is that means I'm one and done. You're one and done. One and done. Wow, how cool. That's Thank you, man. awesome, dude. Let's check this out. Wow, a banded fish. I'm, I'm running out of words because my mind's still trying to comprehend. What Look at that. Happened. So anyway, I'll good be old darn man. a band. A fishing trip. That's wild. That's wild, dude. <laughs> you lucky dog, you. I, that that's really all it was because yeah. you had first fish on here. Yeah. And then it was my turn, and it just happened to be that one. Right. We've just been taking turns catching fish. I went first, Jordan second. Now we got the turd. He's up third. Gerald, he's got the biggest fish of the day for sure, but man. So far. Yeah, so far. You never know what can happen. It's gotten warm out. We all took her in t-shirts. It's beautiful. I bet it's almost 70 degrees out here. Oh, goodness. You're going to burn your thumbprints off on that bad boy. Uh-oh. See how long this takes you to get this one in. We're going to float right back to it. <laughs> Chances are it's banded. One out of ten, what do you think? Not banded. <laughs> Not banded. <laughs> odds. It's bigger than one I They're got. They're saying the odds are good for another band. From the size of it. Here she is. No band, no band huh? 
What an absolute beauty. Wow. Man, Gerald, you've been catching all the behemoths. My goodness. Well, fish number three. Gerald with another big one. My goodness. Look at that big old sucker right there. That's a G-mini Christmas. That's a beauty. Well, bombing to a new spot again. Well, what's the strat now, Bob? We're ripping. Going back to ripping line. See if we can catch one ripping instead of trolling. Gerald says you gotta catch one ripping the pole. It's just a different experience. Make you work for it too. I don't get to experience that. I did catch a gar earlier though. Old girl hooked up again. It's either little or he don't know he's hooked yet. <laughs> Barely. Another one. Yeah, that's a big one. I gotta back up so I can get him in frame. Ooh, he got beat up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's big. One. That's definitely the biggest of the day, Gerald. Yeah, yeah. that's a big one. Yeah. Wow. Hold on, boys. He's going to get you. He's going up your shorts. Yeah, I can feel him. <laughs> dude, that's huge. Too bad of shape, really. Wow. Yeah, that's a big dude. Get, what do you think that like bad boy weighs? I don't know, blades. but I'm guessing. Judging the first one we caught was 55. This guy here is probably what 70. I don't know. He's all beat up though. Man, look. They say he went too. through the dam. Yeah, man. He's got cuts everywhere. Look at this. That's that got gnarly. Chopped, chopped off. Put your behemoth back in there, son. Wow. Awesome. Dude, that's a beast. That's a good, good one. Job. Brian putting yeah. us on them fish. Right on, my man. We'll do it. Oh, dude. You got this figured out. Old Brian was just telling us it's all about the technique. It's all, in the head. It's all, all about of, the technique. It's all it about is. the technique. It's a lot about the technique. Yep. Having a good technique, you it's catch more fish. That's right, right. You got to be in the target zone because they're only in certain layer, layers of the water column. Right. And if you jerk real quick, you never get it to the water column where the fish are. Now, if you let it set too much, it came off. Yeah, if you let it set too much, then you get hung up dragging the bottom. So it's all technique, guys. Gotcha. Another fish on deck. Old Gerald, I'm telling you what, he's got the dangle. He's got it figured out. Another fish. Check that out. No band on him. You're going to let him go. going to let this fish go, maybe. <laughs> and you're free. There he goes. Good job. Is that four or five? Four or five? Boy, howdy, this last move, that was that was the move. Coming to this spot, you know, this lake or I, this river. Yeah, right, I was going, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely, I agree. You, you never know, guys. I tell you what, there's one thing about fishing. If you go somewhere and you're not catching them, man, you gotta move. You gotta change something if it it's, ain't working. It's, right, it's, you don't sit back and walk, ride cruise control because it'll never change, right. guys. So, anyway, how about let's, uh, move to another little spot around here in this river and uh, we will catch some more fish. Always a good plan to me. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps